what we have here is one of my three projectors. This is a, um, a circa 1997 Sharp multimedia projector. This is uh, actually was a very nice unit in its day. It has, uh, I believe it has two computer inputs. No, only one. Okay. We have a PC control cable, a mouse port. Um, you can actually hook a, a serial mouse to this. And, of course, a VGA pass-through. It also has a uh, composite video input, audio input, and output. Um, it actually has, right here, a wireless remote. This can be used, actually, to control a PC. It's a very nice uh, setup. I don't recall if this thing still worked. I, I think there was a problem with it. No, it still works. Uh, this projector, um, I believe it's only like 400 lumens. It has a built-in pop-out handle. Carrying case. This mouse, I do believe, has a laser function as well. Um, it's not working for some reason. On, uh, yeah, there's a laser pointer built in. The diode's right there in the middle, I think. Let's see here. I'll turn the uh, lights on so you can see that the unit has an illuminated control panel. And the remote is supposed to, but uh, it's not working. Let me put some batteries in this. Maybe that's what the problem is. So I put some fresh batteries in this mouse so you can now see the uh, how it lights up. My laptop just went to sleep. I'm glad it did that. I'm going to show you what's wrong with this projector. You can see there's a light blue haze. Um, oops. Wrong button. Let's see here. Mouse. Okay. I love this. Right about here. Right about here. Oh, stop it. I'm not trying to load the goddamn menu. Keeps bringing up the freaking menu. Stop it. Hmm, what am I doing wrong? Alright, right about here. There's a light, actually, goes all the way up here, over and down. It's like a bluish haze. And what that's caused by is a failing blue LCD panel. What happens is, as the LCD ages and is damaged by the ultraviolet rays from the bulb, try to bring my laptop up again, it uh, reduces the ability for the blue panel to, f to filter out, or I'm sorry, to block light. Eventually, what will happen is, it will, the screen could potentially turn completely blue. Um, So there's really no fix for it. I mean, you can you can replace the panel, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be cost effective. Now, when using the projector for like presenting, you know, whatever, it's not terrible. But as you can clearly see, this projector lacks in the clarity department. The text is pretty blocky. That's typical of early projectors, LCD projectors mainly. Um, was a limitation of the technology at the time. I mean, you can adjust it in some ways, but not really enough to make it worthwhile. Image adjustment, let's try to open that up. So basically what we have here is a failing blue panel, and um, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. The unit has... Let me see how many hours it has on it. Let's see if we can figure that out. I think on this one you actually have to press a series of keys and that'll bring up the um, the hour meter which on this projector I think it's over two to three thousand hours 
it may not even be that high. But she still works. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this projector. I've had it over two years and I've used it once or twice. I do like it because it has this really cool remote um, with a laser pointer built in. I mean, that's kind of a, it's a neat feature right there. It's even showing up on the camera. Holy hell. I just noticed this, this alright, I'm, I've got the, there we go, you can barely see it. Yeah, and there it is. The, um, laser. Anyway. So, Looks much better in person, but I'm using the trees as a as an improvisational screen. We are standing outside of my deck. So as I tried to um, to get on film, I actually used these trees back here as a projection screen last night table served as a projector stand and I used my 13 year old sharp projector right there and it worked out pretty good I, I connected it to a DVD player that one and I saw the South Park movie um, actually it was quite impressed it didn't do too badly I had something like a 20 to 30 foot projection surface with these trees over here and uh, I'm sure the neighbors think I'm insane, but it actually worked. I tried to aim it up towards the mountain, but the bulb isn't bright enough for that kind of a distance, so that wouldn't have worked. But all in all, I think I did pretty well with that. Um, I watched almost the entire movie on the trees. <laughs> um, of course, the, I mean, the trees aren't that good of a surface because obviously um, it's an irregular surface, um, and the color of the trees themselves kind of distorts all the colors. It was mostly green than anything else. But it did work, as you can see in, in the camera. I, I don't know how well it came out on, on film, but, well, on the camera, but I'm sure it's not that good. Um, it was very dark, but if you turn off all the lights, it actually isn't that bad at all.